This demonstration covers the basics of editing DocBook documents in Oxygen XML Author. We show this by writing a sample article that contains sections, lists, links, and tables. Instead of starting from scratch, we'll use an already defined DocBook 5 template. By default, the document is opened in text page, but we want to visually edit it, so we'll switch to author page. Oxygen can be configured from preferences to open the document directly in the author page. Some of the information from template is not needed, so we'll delete it from the document using an action from the outline views contextual menu. We start editing the document by changing the article's title. The first section will contain text markup and images. One of the most useful features in Author Editor is the content completion support. The fastest way to invoke it is to press Enter key. The content completion window allows you, for example, to insert new DuckBook elements, comments, or processing instructions. The toolbar offers a set of DuckBook custom actions like table and list management or text emphasis, just to name a few. We use the Insert a DuckBook Graphic Toolbar action to insert an image into our document. Several elements were inserted into the document. You can see that the media object, image object, image data structure was inserted as a child of section 1 element. This can be seen in the XPath panel and in the outline view. Also, these two components help you to see your current position in the document and ease the navigation between elements. We need to insert a paragraph after the image, so we must position our caret in the section 1 element. We'll use the outline view, expat panel and position information tooltip to see the caret position. In the current paragraph we need to emphasize some text. We'll use the bold action from the emphasize menu. Now we need to enter a new section into the document. For this, we position the caret into the article element and we'll use the insert section toolbar action. In this section, we'll see the basics of working with lists and tables in Oxygen XML Author. First, we'll insert an itemized list holding a couple of XML links. For this, we'll use the insert itemized list toolbar action. Then we'll insert a link using the insert link action from the link menu. In edit attributes dialog we set the href attribute for the link element. An internal link to the first section can be easily added using the insert link action and setting the link end attribute to the ID of the first section. The section we want to link to does not have an ID yet. Using the edit attribute dialog, we'll set the ID attribute.
Now we'll insert a table into our document. We begin with a simple 4x4 calls table and customizing using the toolbar actions. We'll hide the table column specifications using a predefined style sheet. Using the combination of joint cell action, we customize the table to meet our specific needs. First, we'll join the header cells to accommodate a single phrase that will be horizontally centered. Then, a 2x2 section of the table will be merged into a single cell to create an empty space. We'll emphasize some of the text by changing the style to bold or italics. We'll fill in the table with some average figures. The document can be easily exported to different formats like PDF or HTML. We'll use the Dogbook default transformation scenario to do this. Thank you for watching this demonstration. More information about this topic can be found in Oxygen User's Manual.